Carl Sagan once said, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Yet when a strange, enigmatic cosmic body was lurking around our solar system in 2017, ET hunters seemed to hit the jackpot. They believed that Oumuamua was a spaceship in disguise, and scientists had different ideas than usual. So, what's the truth behind this bizarre interstellar counter? Have aliens sent their next big mission to explore the Earth? Let's find out. We know it's great fun. But don't lay out your plans to storm Area 51 just yet. Space exploration is a sore subject for the internet community. From wild conspiracy theories to predictions for an upcoming space war, it's hard to distinguish real life from fantasy. But in the most extraordinary clash of our civilization, many alien enthusiasts have accused the government and space agencies like NASA of deliberately hiding any concrete evidence of the astrobiological existence. So, when in 2017, a strange object was detected in the Earth's orbit, the Internet had a field day. For the first time in recent history, our solar system welcomed a foreign interstellar intruder that brought more questions than answers. In the pursuit of science, we are often told that seeing is believing. And well, the interstellar object, known as the Oumuamua, was clear-cut in its eerie and weird appearance. When scientists and NASA failed to adequately explain the presence of the cosmic body, it was time for ET hunters to make a home run. But that's not all. For the most part, a major chunk of the scientific community was urging NASA and other UFO agencies to look for more robust signs of cosmic pluralism. And here's the thing. Science inherently requires us to be open-minded. Sometimes, the most important signs are right before us. So, many urged NASA for a closer look when the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope in Hawaii spotted a strange-looking interstellar object floating in our solar system. In the defense of alien enthusiasts, many NASA scientists haven't completely negated the extraterrestrial theory. Even astronauts like Buzz Aldrin believe that statistically, given the vastness of our universe, the existence of astrological beings is almost certain. What was really new about the entire interstellar intrusion was its strange nature. To this day, scientists don't have definitive answers about the composition of the object, its trajectory, and its physical prowess. At first, the scientists were convinced that our planet is in line for comet contact. But at a closer look, Oumuamua was considered to be an asteroid, yet no theory was eligible enough to stick. What we know is that the object was almost 650 foot long, and its initial orbit fixed it within a 24 million kilometers radius from the planet Earth. Even though we're more technologically proficient than ever, scientists had difficulty explaining the object's weird shape and its origins. And from their computer screens, everyone on Earth watched as the interstellar object lingered in our solar system. If there's anything that really scares us, it is the potentiality of the unknown. People were desperate to know if we were under a cosmic threat, or if an alien invasion was in order. Or worse, are we being watched by the very beings we've yearned to make contact with? Because hey, humans are peculiar and wonderfully strange. But space scientists were largely clueless. Only then they felt compelled to configure a new class of cosmic interference. We were witnessing a new class of interstellar objects that aren't comets or asteroids. But they're definitely something. Plus, Oumuamua's hyperbolic orbit or its boomerang-shaped trajectory meant that the object isn't from our solar system. We were definitely looking at an interstellar object that had come from a galaxy far, far away. But also, its hyperbolic orbit meant that it was only passing through the Sun's neighborhood, a vicinity close to our solar system. Typically, intruders like this Oumuamua are just passing by. They come in peace and mean no harm. So, 
when the interstellar object disappeared from our line of sight in our solar system, scientists weren't surprised. Predictable, honestly. But what happens next is shockingly bizarre. And this is where scientists claim that the object was non-extraterrestrial starts to become a little shady. Even when Oumuamua disappeared from our central solar system, the scientists followed its trajectory around the sun. They were in utter disbelief to observe that the object was moving at astronomical speeds. Now, typically, bigger cosmic bodies like stars and planets transmit a gravitational acceleration to smaller objects like Oumuamua that increases their speed exponentially. While this phenomenon is pretty common in outer space, our interstellar object was far from usual. You see, there was nothing normal or typical about Oumuamua's speed. It was unusually fast in its trajectory. Its recorded speed was 54 miles per second. Such recorded statistics raised many eyebrows and increased the capacity for contesting theories on the nature of the object. Scientists were quick to accept that such accelerated speeds mean that Oumuamua is a comet and is now an asteroid. Scientifically, comets are more susceptible to gravitational kicks. Yet a quick glance into the astronomical records will reveal something more concerning and extraordinary. We know for a fact that the recorded speeds of this interstellar object were even too accelerated for an average comet in the solar system. Yep, its speed was three times more than the recorded acceleration of typically fast comets. Whereas the comet theory was realistic and intuitive, it wasn't following the scientific trajectory. And for the faction that has rallied to stick to science, this was a huge loss. What happened next was pretty predictable. The internet was convinced that the interstellar object wasn't a comet at all. Its variance with speed and the unmarked origins perhaps demand some unusual speculations. Since its shape was unusually constructed and it displayed astronomical speeds, such characteristics were in congruence with an alien spaceship. Yep, believe it or not, our near factual speculations about alien spacecraft are pretty similar to Oumuamua's trajectory. The most common theory on this subject suggests that such extraterrestrial ships can only function if they show astronomical speeds to travel from one galaxy to another. Now, if this was just another Reddit thread, we perhaps wouldn't be having this conversation. The speculation surrounding Oumuamua's characterization as a spaceship or a piece of outer space technological equipment isn't just a fragment of conspiracy theory. Far from it, actually. Believe it or not, more and more academic work on the interstellar object is opening up new horizons in the study of pluralism and astrotechnology. In their groundbreaking work, Abraham Loeb and Shumel Bailey of Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics suggest that Oumuamua perhaps has outer space origins. Their widely cited paper points out deep anomalies that were observed in the trajectory of the interstellar object, including its godly speed as well as peculiar shape. But before getting into the scientific whiz, both professors also question the scientific and logical metrics involved in the study of Oumuamua. First things first, Loeb rightfully points out that the absence of evidence to support a hypothesis isn't synonymous with zero evidence. What he means is that the absence of proof doesn't mean that the proof doesn't exist. So, the scientists would have potentially recognized the outer space underlying the object if they weren't so biased in their study. According to the Harvard professor, as Oumuamua was a phenomenon of its own kind, the scientists studying it were supposed to study it with an open mind. Their inner resistance to accepting the reality of astrobiological existence blinded them in the first place. Phew, those are some hard-hitting allegations, and it gets more interesting. Loeb also took an issue of the popular belief that scientists hold on to. A lot of scientists have very orthodox views on alien life. 
For starters, they believe that extraterrestrial beings aren't intelligent enough to build sophisticated spacecraft to travel millions of miles and potentially skip solar systems. And if they do have the brains, the inherent absence of pluralism would suggest that they don't have enough resources to build a spacecraft. And let's just say, this form of alien bigotry doesn't sit well with progressive researchers like Loeb. On the basis of pure logic, to dismiss the possibility of beings that are intellectually superior to us is pretty elementary. After all, throughout our recorded history, we've experienced a myriad of unexplained phenomena that could be potentially classified as ET interactions. To be clear, the Harvard professors don't definitively claim that Oumuamua was a spacecraft, but they don't rule out the possibility either. Plus, there are certain aspects of the interstellar object that can be scientifically explained. For instance, solar sailing is one phenomenon that humans have successfully replicated in their space technology as well. Yep, we have harnessed the sun's radiation for spacecraft propulsion through projects like the Japanese Icarus spacecraft and NASA's NanoSail D project. So, Oumuamua's light sail isn't as mystical as we thought. In fact, our scientific theory acknowledges that solar radiation is a renewable resource for outer space to move from planets, sail around the stars, and hop from one galaxy to another. This theory also seems plausible when we realize that Oumuamua hardly resembles any general properties of the comet. Initially, its high speed was attributed to outgassing, a process in which solar radiation heats the icy comets, releasing the trapped melted gas. Yet our foreign intruder didn't show any signs of outgassing, nor was it surrounded by the clouds of dust, which would have been the case if the alleged comet was melting. On the other hand, the interstellar object was more anomalous than ever. Its peculiar geometry stood out the most. That bizarre shape gave a strange light curve to the object, a visual that scientists had never seen. It had low thermal emission and seemed lost from its usual Keplerian orbit. In fact, there's a possibility that the object was a big non-conformist and wasn't part of the Keplerian orbit in the first place. If it was, it would have some sort of cometary tail, which it didn't. Yep, it seems like Loeb leaves us with more questions and fewer answers. What's really fantastic about this Harvard study is that it doesn't strive for a concrete answer. While it could be deeply frustrating, we have to realize that science isn't a very definitive pursuit. New theories emerge all the time. So, Loeb and Biley are actually just trying to expand our horizons to delve into more alternative theories. They believe that our chances to encounter something like Oumuamua are pretty slim. In Loeb's words, Oumuamua's very discovery was something of an anomaly. If the visitor is a member of a random population, stumbling across it the way we did suggests that every star in the Milky Way ejects into interstellar space 1,000 trillion such objects over its lifetime. This means that our own solar system isn't susceptible to ejecting a lot of Oumuamua's over the course of time. Hence, every opportunity to study the interstellar class is rare and should be maximized to its full potential. Not to mention, we stand at the crossroads of a new dimension in the study of space. After the speculative snafu over the origins of Oumuamua, the UK-based Institute of Interstellar Studies initiated Project Lyra. This coming-of-age initiative aims to reach interstellar objects that were previously only visible from telescopes. Sure, we used our satellite-based system to gather data to study them closely, but primarily, we can only observe these cosmic bodies. Deeper studies of such interstellar objects demand that we look up closely, and that's only possible through space missions like Lyra. Even though the Institute has broader goals like the robotic exploration of dangerous stars and colonization of nearby cosmic bodies, we can collectively agree that their cause is useful. At this point, 
Our unexplained interactions with outer space have the potential to be proven right or disproved for eternity. It's time certain conspiracy theories pave their way out of the Reddit threads. Found this video interesting? Smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click on your right to watch our next video.